Oh. Okay. So I guess it's time for her. Guess it's story. time to face the cupcakes. Yep. Where is she? There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Come on, Pokey! Oh. Alright, let's go. Get a move on, sis! <laughs> okay. Hello? Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? <laughs> Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <laughs> All right. I think that's supposed to look like Magchatra, my handsome date to the prom. What? Oh. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> okay. Grandpa beast ender? Huh? Do you know where mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, <laughs> yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Of course you did. <laughs> Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna fight it. <laughs> Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> okay. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Um, okay. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. <laughs> if I knew I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age <laughs> out of me? 
I'll never tell. She's wearing bread on her head. <laughs> Look at the bread. <laughs> what is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of grand mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! Of course but it maybe is. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chafra's stomach. Oh. Yeah, they're, so they're sacrificing her. <laughs> Why are they so like, this is, a, this is not a good thing. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Yeah. Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. What? <laughs> Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. You wouldn't want that. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. Well, I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected, and your family will be shamed. Wow. Hey, don't that. go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. So... No backing out now. Too many people would see me. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Don't touch the red ones! Mom made those just for me! You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. Where Did would I... I... Oh, I don't want to talk to him. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's give him a cupcake. For me? Uh... For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Did I leave in the kitchen? No. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better huh. go find that knife. <laughs> All right. Somewhere out here. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Heck. Oh, where is that darn knife? What am I even supposed to do? <laughs> I have to give him cupcakes. Uh, why not? Okay. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. Crap. <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> it's just gone. For me? Split it with you? Deal. Wait, and then he's gonna. Yep. <laughs> On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Yeah, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't <laughs> say anything. I tricked you. <laughs> Mom, I was just wondering, what if we? Fought Crap. the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's. I didn't mean to do that. All right, I got it. All right, time to serve this girl up. 
But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey. Why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Wow. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Wow. They would willingly Majestic sacrifice their daughter. To behold. Oh, inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chothra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Up Please for grabs. Come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. This is terrible. Welcome to the Fun size. <laughs> Look at their dress. Like they. Oh my favorite, God. Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. Me. I should be in the center. Hot stuff. <laughs> I make myself delish. Any line. Center of mass, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mog Chakra responds to beauty above all else. Sorry, but beauty is nothing without a little heat. Wow. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. All right. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. What? Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Of course they Regardless, are. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with Joy, I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. Wow. Trying to make Mog Chakra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Oh, 
how about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. Okay. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. But I think maybe we should. I mean, hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too then. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just <laughs> too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Oh. Oh, no. That should have been me. What? Okay, here we go. That's right. It's my time. Okay. Hold up. Glad I'm not wearing that anymore. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. He's obviously made his decision. Hey! Need a towel? I think you got a little maiden on your cheek there. No? Great. I think Mob Chathra is really more of a let it all hang out kind of guy. <laughs> Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! <laughs> I'll you alive if you come near my food again! <laughs> 